All right, so this is our first recording for lesson 1.02. This is the first of two sections that'll be on the 1.04 quiz. And this one is basically just a bunch of information. So definitely some good notes to take here. Um, luckily, no math yet. But we're going to talk about some properties of gases. So definitely some key terms to be aware of. Pressure is the force caused by air molecules hitting the surface of the container they are in. So the more often they hit the container, the higher the pressure. All right, and then definitely knowing the units for pressure is gonna come in handy as far as identifying, say in a math sort of problem, which number is associated with your pressure value. So pressure units you wanna be familiar with are atmospheres, ATM, pascals, PA, kilopascals, KPA, millimeters of mercury, MMHG, and TOR. And then volume, we talked about this back in chemistry A, but that's the space that a substance takes up. So look out for things that are in liters or some sort of meter cubed sort of thing. So these should be actually superscript threes, but My program got rid of that. Um, temperature, you guys are probably familiar with this one and you're definitely probably highly familiar with Fahrenheit and Celsius, but t the technical definition of temperature is a measure of the kinetic energy or movement in molecules. All right, so as temperature increases, movement increases. A new unit that we will get into related to temperature in this class is this idea of a Kelvin. So it'll be a little while till we get there, but that's another potential unit on a temperature. And then these, you definitely want to write down, make sure you remember these values, because sometimes you will just have to like, oh, hey, what would this be at standard temperature and pressure? And you have to remember to plug in one atmosphere or 100 kPa for your pressure and 273 Kelvin for your temperature. All right, so 100 kPa and one atmosphere are equal to each other as are 273 Kelvin and zero degrees Celsius. If you still need to write these down, pause the video. So some other properties, or some key properties of gases that you wanna focus on is gases are compressible, all right? So that means that you can take a gas that is in a certain space, all right, has a certain volume, and you can smush it into a smaller volume. All right, so this little piston diagram down at the bottom is um, what represents this idea of compressibility, all right? But when you do this, when you push it in that smaller volume, your pressure is going to go up, all right? Because the molecules are gonna hit the walls more often. That should kind of make intuitive sense. Another key property is that all gas molecules are in constant motion. Really all molecules are in constant motion, but gas molecules are in like heavy motion. They move around a lot, all right? And this motion relates directly to their kinetic energy, all right? So kinetic energy by definition is the energy related to the motion of a molecule, all right? And kinetic energy is proportional to temperature Right, which means that if the temperature goes up, kinetic energy goes up. All right, so if they're proportional to each other, if one changes in a certain direction, the other one changes in that same direction. All right. Likewise, if temperature goes down, kinetic energy will go down. One last property of gases is because gases are able to move around and they have all this high energy and they can they are able to fill whatever container they are in gases exhibit something called diffusion you actually probably have heard this in biology class all right so diffusion is when you move part when particles just have this natural tendency to move from where they are highly concentrated to where they are less concentrated until the concentration is equal throughout. All right, so definitely some key properties of gases to be familiar with, kind of know your relationships here. 
All right, so temperature increases, kinetic energy increases, motion increases. Um, compressibility, if you compress a gas into a smaller volume, that's gonna increase your pressure. All right, and just know that if a gas has a high concentration, it's going to spread itself out until it's equal concentration everywhere. So, a couple of questions that you can use to kind of practice this. Read through these. All right, these are actually the choices for this question. All right, but pause the video, see if you can come to the right answers, and then start it back up and see if you were right. So, of these choices, what will cause particles to slow down? All right, so we want to figure out things that will decrease the motion. All right, so key thing here is to remember that motion is related to kinetic energy, which is also related to temperature. So you're looking for something that is going to either decrease temper temperature, decrease kinetic energy, and choice C explicitly says decrease the temperature. All right, volume and pressure do not inherently cause particles to slow down. If a change in volume and a change in pressure also is associated with a change in temperature, then that could. But it's the temperature that directly ties to the motion of the particles. And then detectors in the four walls, or sorry, detectors in the walls of four containers, A, B, C, and D, count the number of collisions between gas molecules and surfaces of the containers. The detectors count 10, 15, 20, and 30 collisions per second. Highest pressure is going to be that highest number. 